Hello and welcome to Linux Reviews for you. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Ubuntu 12.10 Alpha free release, which I believe came out the other day, um, possibly yesterday, I'm not too sure, but saw it on Distro Watch. So, anyway, um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I know my Alpha 2 video wasn't very good in terms of covering what's new uh, looks wise opposed to under the hood because under the hood's always going to change up till it's a uh, proper release in uh, set, uh, October so um, obviously not a lot's going to change in alpha 3 really uh, betas probably when uh, all the more the look of everything probably changes a bit more but uh, some stuff has changed and I'm going to go through that in this video now um, I've tried installing it several times and it won't install um, there's a bug somewhere and uh, towards the end of installing it comes up saying installation error so I'm not going to try install it again but um, I know for a fact that there's something in the live CD that you don't get when you install it and I believe that's the um, you can manage uh, online accounts via the um, a new app in the uh, system settings and basically this lets you attach uh, Facebook, Twitter and it's kind of like a gribber and all of that so um, right where to begin really um, so um, as you know uh, the uh, system the update the update manager here um, in 12.04 does pop up occasionally but it doesn't start uh, as soon as you turn the operating system on whether the 12.10 um, uh, isn't even called update manager anymore I don't think it's called something similar um, and basically what that will do is it will launch as soon as you turn it on so you always get the up-to-date uh, um, patches and everything as soon as you turn it on so I thought that was a nice feature can be annoying if you're some um, freak that doesn't like app, uh, applications starting as soon as you turn the system on but that will really not uh, bog your system down at all so what else is new so if we go to the home folder here we notice that I think it's Nautilus, yeah, has done a complete reamp, and it looks very, very nice. If we just compare it to the traditional, then we can see that it it does look it looks very similar. But obviously, this has been positioned to the left opposed to the right. They're kind of more like buttons opposed to um, links nice search feature here and you can have a new tab and that open so I thought that was pretty uh, nice feature so um, I like I do like the uh, tabs so you can have your documents open here and then open a, a new tab and then have your um, root folder here so it, it's, it's a nice little feature added on so in terms of um, under the hood uh, the kernel version let me just check you name dash r is 3.5.0 dash 6 generic so um, I believe this may be um, a couple of steps up from the 
last release uh, probably not too far as this alpha release and the second one was very very um, close together in terms of release and I, th I believe this actually has come out a week before uh, they said it would I think they said it would come out August and it's out now so um, yeah so another week to go but um, in terms of software the uh, Ubuntu Software Center has um, increased version uh, I believe it is version 5.3.5 so um, I think they're heading towards version 6 for um, uh, for the um, the proper release in October which would be good because um, I do like it when they changed the Ubuntu software center last time so hopefully they might change it for the better again now let me just open a couple of windows here obviously Firefox uh, the version is 14 um, point something but um, when you install it straight away which is obviously the latest um, opposed to when if you install 12.04 you might get version 13 or something similar but obviously you can update it um, Firefox normally updates itself through the uh, update manager anyway so from my personal observations can't even say that but um, you can see they've changed the uh, workspaces instead of um, if we just do it on mine so you got the works four workspaces here and basically instead of four workspaces it will do a gnome free effect and kind of open up all the windows so you can see all your visible windows and then click on the one you want and I gotta say for uh, a new feature this is quite well done to be honest because um, when um, it came out on Unity um, of what last year in uh, 11.04 it it wasn't Unity was very buggy and I remember the workspaces was very um, buggy procedure as well so it's good to see that they've got that right straight on so not really um, a lot else to talk about in in terms of um, apps really I'm not gonna go through them like I did in the uh, other video because they've stayed the same but um, yeah they've they've pretty much um, nailed it really uh, they're probably I would like to see in unity I must say if you hover over um, a um, an app or say you've got two Firefox windows open it does the Windows 7 error effect where the windows will pop up for you so you can view what you're a, what window you're about to click on that would be a very very nice uh, feature that I would like to see defaultly but uh, there's probably an app or something to install for that anyway um, that's the joy of Linux so um, yeah I think I think I'm pretty much uh, done here um, obviously um, the unity dash is so much more fluid um, like the uh, button depress and all of that so it's nice to see that unity is improving more and more as time goes by so thank you uh, for watching and this is the Ubuntu 12.10 alpha free release you can download it from their website I wouldn't recommend at all installing it on their main system on your main system even and um, if you can 
that is because I couldn't even install it to a virtual box. Also another thing to point out, there's a major bug that they uh, the file size is something like um, 740 megs. Oh, we're saying it's like 800, but that's actually a bug in itself because Conical do like to aim for the uh, 702 meg um, size maximum so that you can still install it on a CD disc. So I don't really think that's a big issue anymore. I, I think a lot of operating systems are even getting towards two gigs now. So I'm not really I'm not really bothered about that, but I don't know if you guys are. So I will uh, carry on this uh, to do the uh, beta release. Um, I believe it comes out a couple of days after my birthday in uh, September so hopefully that would be a nice surprise um, I probably missed out a couple of things uh, but hey ho I uh, can't remember everything um, so thanks for watching as always please like and subscribe and I shall um, see you in the next video thanks bye